So if you've been feeling pressured and overwhelmed, trying to search on YouTube, the best income streams, looking for the next passive income and having more side hustles, then this video is for you. Because guess what? Only when I let go of that pressure, let go of that overwhelm, trying to do all the things and earn multiple income streams, did I eventually achieve my first million. <music> What's up guys, it's Nick. As you know, I'm a recovered shopaholic, now a money mindset coach, empowering working professionals to fund their dreams into reality. So the problem with multiple income streams is that we are conditioning our brain that more is better, that earning more is better, having more is better without really thinking to ourselves, is that what we truly want for our life? Is that what's really gonna give us the most freedom and enjoyment in our life? That's why for me, when I decided to flip the switch and think to myself is there a simpler way that i get to enjoy my life and not pressure and overwhelm myself that's when money became a byproduct and that leads me to the first reason that allowed me to stop looking for multiple income streams that freed me today in achieving my first million and that is i would rather focus and double down on one income stream that i love waking up to every day rather than having a multiple that I don't even enjoy. As I've shared, what's the point of earning more and earning more, having more income streams, more side hustles, if you don't even enjoy the process, if you don't even give yourself the permission to enjoy that money? When will you allow yourself to enjoy? Are you just in a constant rat race, hamster wheel of trying to get the next pay increase, the next side hustle, the next passive income, the next passive income stream that you're gonna get, but not knowing what is the criteria for you to finally allow yourself to enjoy that money you worked hard for. And this is what my clients also realize when they come to me. They thought that, oh, I finally have three income streams. I finally started that side hustle. I started earning six figures from them. But how come I still have that sense of I don't have enough? Why do I feel like I'm still on the scarcity mindset? Why do I feel like I'm still on survival mode? Why do I feel like I can't give myself permission to enjoy because I somehow feel guilty because I still have bills to pay? Because the problem that I see is that we look at more money, more income as the goal that we don't get to pause and ask ourselves, is that what we love doing? Is that what we truly enjoy? Or are we just succumbing to the society standards of what a stable job is, what a successful career is, or what our parents grew up to be, what a successful career is? Because guys, there's good news like in this day and age there's so many ways that you get to prove to yourself that you get to earn from doing what you love it's not just something that you work hard and you get to pay the bills i mean of course yeah there is that option i've done that for six years i've done that in my corporate job because i need to pay the bills i need to be responsible and i just wake up work hard to pay the bills but is that all you want is that all you want you just work hard to pay the bills and then when you're 40 when you're 60 are you gonna look back at your life thinking that you've enjoyed your prime years or did you just work hard just to pay the bills if you're just constantly waking up paying the bills are you really living are you really thriving or are you just merely surviving every single day the misconception is that we just grab all the opportunities that would allow us to earn so that we have multiple income streams multiple side hustles but that's where the problem is it's not about grabbing all the opportunities it's about choosing which opportunity is going to be right for us to earn from which one is truly aligned with our values which one is really aligned with our principles our purpose and that we get to wake up every day knowing that it's what we love and it's something that we are authentically aligned with okay because time is our most precious asset that means that asset our time if we get to spend it on the wrong opportunities we are unconsciously derailing the life that we want we are delaying the dreams that we want because we only have you know a few hours in a day and are you gonna keep spending it on so many things all at once or are you gonna double down on what you truly love and get to earn from that knowing that every day you're excited to wake up to it so let me tell you from my experience i remember when i realized when the the switch flipped okay that when i was in my six year corporate job I realized that okay nick um this is not aligned with where you see yourself in your career 
two years from now, five years from now. So let's do something about it. Okay. So it's one thing to acknowledge it. And then the next thing it's like, so now what? What do you really want to do? Like, I remember I was just jotting so many things on paper. I was making like mind maps and just like doodling stuff on notebooks. And there's just so many things that you can find online now. Like I remember I was looking at doing freelancing as a social media manager because my background in corporate is digital so i used to be a senior digital manager in my previous corporate stint and so i was thinking like i could do freelancing on that i was also thinking about being a consultant as a digital manager for other brands i even thought about creating a course out of the skills that i've learned from the past six years working i even thought about creating a product-based business and dami kong naisip you guys imagine if i did that all at once do you think i would have been happy or would I have been miserable? Well, I would say, I would say I would have been burning myself out because true enough, I remember when I was starting to like do all the things at once, it did happen. I was trying to do everything all at once. I was spreading myself too thin. But when I decided to really double down and focus on, ano ba talaga gusto mo, Nick? Ano ba talaga yung excited ka gawin every single day that you truly, truly love doing? And I have come to the conclusion that it was my one-on-one -on -one coaching business. And that's what I'm really doing full-time today. This is my main active source of income. And I love it. I love that I get to do this every day, that I'm passionate about it. And money is just a byproduct rather than I'm constantly chasing money as the goal. Because that's a problem when you're constantly searching for income streams that are the best in 2022 or the best in my 20s. When you're constantly looking for income streams and checking like, oh, parang yun yung, yun yung madali, pwede na yun. But then you don't even get to ask yourself, is that aligned with your vision for your life? Is that aligned with what you love doing? Is that what you truly am passionate about doing and waking up to every single day? Like I've seen this with my clients and I love coaching them through this and spotting their earning opportunities that are truly aligned with the career that they want to pursue so that instead of, ang realize ko, instead of you get to do every all multiple income streams that you're overwhelmed and you feel like you're getting nowhere because you're spreading yourself too thin, you are putting all your eggs in all of the baskets na wala kang progress because you're trying to do everything all at once versus if you go all in and what you truly love, that is your zone of genius, that is something that you're 100% passionate about, then all your energy goes to that and you do whatever it takes for it to work. Because that's what I did. I said, this is gonna work no matter what because this is what I love. I know it's gonna create impact. I know that five years from now, 10 years from now, when I'm 60, I'm gonna be so freaking proud of myself that I did this. If you want to learn more about this, you can actually watch my free 60-minute training through the link in my bio where I dive into how you can finally break the cycle of financial stress, financial pressure of constantly wanting to earn more, have more income streams, constantly wanting to increase your income, and finally, and finally find out what is finally enough to enjoy your life and give yourself permission to prioritize those dreams. I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys that you have gotten a lot of value for my free 60 minute training. So do check it out below because I have a feeling that you're also going to learn a lot from it and it's really going to free you from all of the limiting beliefs around money that you had once. Second lesson I learned when I stopped looking for multiple income streams is that working thrice as hard will not give you thrice the income. And this is something that I was subconsciously doing to myself, by the way, and it took me time to realize it because I was on autopilot thinking that, oh, di ba kasi sa college, you know, you have to, you know, pull in the late hours, you know, sleepless nights, to work on projects, and therefore, that's when you got good grades, that's when you were praised over it. And then when we bring it to, when we start working, we think that it's going to give us the most results, right? Because we were conditioned, nung bata pa tayo, that we get rewarded when we study long hours, when we spend the most hours on a project, right? But in the real life, in the real world, if we want to feel more in control of our life and get to enjoy it, it's not about working 24-7, isn't it? It's not about feeling fulfilled anymore working 24-7. It's not anymore that. It's about how can we make the most out of our time where we get to have the most optimal results in terms of our earning opportunities. So you're like, Nick, if it's not working thrice as hard and constantly 
pinupuyat ko yung sarili ko, if it's not that, then what gives me the most earning capacity? It's about prioritizing your time towards what gives you the optimal results. And this is where it gets tricky. I, you know, I, I, I get so fired up when I coach my clients on this because they think that, oh, I need to sacrifice time. I need to lose sleep. I need to lose my time if I want to be successful, if I want to have a successful business, if I want to get a pay raise. But no, it's about what they realize is that I don't really get to lose time. I just need to prioritize my time better. And that looks like, for example, how are you going to set boundaries with your work hours? How are you going to have better management of your time wherein you focus more on the tasks, on the activities that will give you the most results in your career, in your job title, in your business? For instance, when I coach freelancers who realize that they have capped out their capacity they're like oh i realized that i started a business but then i thought that i would have less hours because i would take care of my own time now but then they realize they're like working 24 7 despite having their own business and so when i coach them through this they realize that oh it's not that i have to work 24 7 if i want to increase more income they realize that they actually cap their income when they work so hard because ang nangyayari, yung quality ng output mo suffers. So eventually, what they realize is like, oh, what I want is to spend less hours working so that I have more time to spend time with my loved ones. I have more time to spend on my hobbies. I have more time to rest. I have more time to take care of my well-being because isn't that what matters at the end of the day? It's not that when you are 60, you realize that ang dami mong napulot na sakit because you weren't sleeping properly. You weren't taking care of yourself. All you thought about was working, working that we forget about. What's the point of working anyway? Isn't it for you to have freedom of time, freedom to enjoy, have the money? to enjoy your life that's what we forget when we're constantly in autopilot working 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 let me give a shout out to my client christelle who recently graduated from my program because now she sees how capable she is in scaling her own business in such a way that she gets to maximize her time without burning herself out without constantly working 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 but now she gets to give herself permission to travel to enjoy her hobbies to do more outside of her work but at the same time have fulfillment in scaling her own own freelancing business because I love how empowered she is now in delegating to a team so that she could step up as a business owner in her business rather than you know when we are so focused on working our butts off and constantly burning ourselves out because you know we think that when we get into business that we would have different hours but the reality is it's about us making a decision that how can we then scale back in our hours but still have better quality output that will give us optimal results that will give us better earning capacity in the career that we love that's why i've been loving coaching freelancers and business owners lately in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program because they get to see that they get to increase their earning capacity, have more income generating opportunities without burning themselves out, without feeling like they have to constantly work, 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 hustle, 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 grind, and give into the hustle culture. It doesn't have to be that way anymore. And most of the time, it's about how we reframe our attachment of our self-worth to our income's worth. How can we reframe our attachment of our self-worth to how much we earn, to how much money we have and this is something that i didn't even realize myself that i've mentioned before that i was so attached with like oh i need to constantly work hard to feel the serving of my income and that limited my earning capacity without even knowing it how about let's say when you're in corporate i also have clients who are so passionate about their corporate careers and they love it they love that they are in the career that they love doing in their corporate careers and so when we talk about this topic it's when they get to really realize like oh how can i communicate to my supervisor about my working hours my scope of work my kpis wherein how can i better communicate to my supervisor and how i can manage my time better that will contribute to the most results that would make me more efficient and more productive in my job? Or how can I better communicate to my team as a manager? If you're a manager yourself in your career, how can I better communicate 
to my team members on better delegating to them so that I could empower my team to train them for them to learn the skills and for me to pass that on and for us to work better as a team so that we have more efficient work hours. This is what I've been loving coaching my clients on is that my one-on-one -on -one coaching program in how they can double down in the income stream that they love without feeling burnt out, without feeling like they have to lose sleep over it, without working twice as hard, and they get to free themselves from being a workaholic. They get to free themselves from wanting to do all of the earning opportunities all at once versus feeling more excited to focus on the career that they truly love that they get to take that leap in pursuing and going all in the career that they've always wanted that reminds me of another example which is roxy from when she graduated in my program and when we really went into the career that she loves she actually attracted the earning opportunity that is more aligned to funding the lifestyle that she wants and like the most fulfilling part that she mentioned there is like oh my gosh i thought i needed to, to have like multiple income streams to fund this lifestyle but only when i actually believed in myself that i could achieve the career that i want which is one income stream that's when i was able to attract the right career the right job opportunity that would allow me to take care of my family and i love what she shared that now she's able to step into that identity of being a happy homemaker wherein she gets to have work-life balance she gets to show up for her family and at the same time provide for them in the career that she truly is passionate about if you want to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program then you can always check the link in my bio on how i help my clients in eight weeks with me as their coach where i guide them in funding the career that they've always wanted both mentally and financially that i've been through myself so that they could take that logical leap where they get to trust themselves in pursuing that career and also know that they're a hundred percent capable in going all in in what they really really want and if you want to learn more about my first million journey i have a lot of nuggets of information and tips right here in this video so that you can continue binge watching my videos and i will see you there